I think it, it's quite common throughout humanity to sort of think about minimizing our agency and think about how, how limited our power is. But if we're really going to address the challenge of climate change, we have to consciously look at how we can maximize our agency. And as an architect, I believe I have actually a lot of agency, a lot more than say doctors and dentists. You know, I can think up completely new projects. I can uh, find good clients. I can try and educate clients. I can specify the right materials. I believe architects have a, a huge amount of agency that they can bring to this challenge. Well, architects have traditionally designed buildings and we've designed them in a lot of detail. So we always specify stuff. So it's our uh, long-standing relationships with the supply chain that is, has real potential for affecting change, I believe. Um, you know, we specify what buildings are made of. So we can, we can choose to specify one material over another and that, we have a lot of power with that. We're the experts in building specification. I, I believe architects have a great, quite significant power in solving, in addressing this issue, but uh, not alone. I, I would say architects cannot do this alone, and we really need to be able to uh, envision a collectiveness in this effort. We need to bring in the expertise of the outside world, even beyond our industry, I would say, to really address the true issues of climate change that we're facing. We are in the, we're absolutely at the key point. We can really decide um, on how the building performs. But it's not just about choosing materials at day one. It is also about thinking about the life of buildings. And I think what I'm keen for architects to do much more is think past practical completion to the durability, the flexibility, the demountability, the reuse, uh, and so on, of buildings. Uh, and think about the buildings as a whole life proposition. Um, if you like, as a the building should be think, thought of as an organism rather than a, point, a, build, a thing that gets finished at practical completion, but it's something that we design with a whole life ahead of it. And we need to understand what that all means. The most sustainable projects that I've worked on have been ones where architects or you know, sometimes clients, but often architects, or another person set um, a really clear vision. They have an, an idea about what could really make a difference, what would be successful, what is possible. Um, and just champion that and they really kind of drive it. So I think the architect has got a really, um, they might often feel like they're powerless to what the client wants, but actually they, uh, the client often doesn't know what they want and the architect has got a real role in helping them set the right direction.